we're going to mix it in. We'll do some, don't, don't do some. We'll see. We'll keep you guys hopping. We don't want y'all to get into a routine. Mix set alarms. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Just how much do you try to just focus on this is how you want to play, you want to get better and all that, but you can't not notice that who's coming in here tomorrow and what you hope to do yeah. in the spring? Well, I mean, there's always that. There's always an extra little, you know, juice in your step or whatever. You, yeah, it's a, it's a big game, and we know it is. It's, and it's on ABC and, and all that, so uh, it should be fun. Now, again, it's one game, and you go on and you see what – what you have to get better at to get them later on or, or what we have to improve and use that but it, it's, it's exciting to be a part of uh, at the same time uh, uh, it's not the end of the world or it's not all the world either way win or lose that doesn't mean a whole lot other than just what it means tomorrow but we got to get a lot better from the standpoint of got to get a lot better and get better at against them what do you take from the last meeting well, that we played well, but uh, there's some things that we can do. We can be a little bit more aware of uh, of who we got to get to quicker than others, and who to shrink the floor on, stuff like that, just to tactically be better uh, with gamesmanship and how to play the game. But I thought we we let them off the hook a few times, and we just got to yeah, get better. You got to get at a championship level. They are. They do all the things the right thing. You're watching how they pass the ball when they cut, what they do. They do the right thing. We don't always do the right thing. So try and get better. Mike, when you, you heard the questions all different kinds of ways, and you say they do the right things, what are some keys in defending them? What, what's, what's the challenges here? You have to understand who you can shrink the floor off of and who you can't. And who and we have to get back uh, where we show them today, just in transition. Sometimes we didn't get back totally uh, after a made basket or after a miss. And they, they will exploit every time you just kind of not do it right. And if you do not do it right against them, it's three points or two points or whatever, and don't. And we cannot allow that against a great team uh, that you just give them three points. You can't, you can't do it. You have to almost um, play perfect defense, right? Against no, you almost have to play with, with, with great intensity all the time. If you let down, they're going to get you. And uh, that's why they're the champions, and that's why they do everything really well. They exploit everything that you don't do something at a championship level because they're at that level. We're not yet. We have ups and downs. We're there and we're not there, you know, but we have to have a better mentality of being a champion all the time. We're not quite there yet. Do you have a feel yet for how much you'll be able to bump James minutes up? I heard about 30. I mean, not 30 more, but th up to 30. No, there you go. So I think he gets up to about 30. Now, you know, a little bit of it, he's got to get, he's a little bit out of shape. So, a little bit of, uh, you know, 25 is right for a lot of reasons. So, you know, but he will. I mean, that's a natural thing. He's going to be a little rusty, and, and then we expect every game to be a little bit better. So. You talked yesterday that you said Chris played like too, maybe too much. He's a 35 man. Well, too what much for like? me. Well, too, right for you. 32, Where would you like him? Okay. But, but the talking to him is, no, that's about right for him. But we still like keeping down a little bit. But the best way to keep him down is most games. Uh, at the end of games, you're not playing. You know that we're winning, uh, so you keep his minutes that way. And games like Golden State, you aren't playing. So that's how that would be the best way to keep his minutes down. Would it be beneficial to, as you think about playing them again in the spring, to see them one time at full strength? Oh yeah, yeah, they're in full strength. They are. We don't know. No, because yeah, Jamond and uh, Jamond and Iguodala. Somebody else. Oh, yeah. We don't know. Only we're those two. I, I can name about three out. others. It'd be nice to be out. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, hey, look, we're not full strength either, so it is what it is. We just, we got a pretty good idea who they are. So we know how they can play. Whether they're here tomorrow night, it really, I mean, you know, it doesn't really matter that much. But no Durant last time, no yeah, Iguodala the first time. No, no Harden. Yeah. Yeah. James. Yeah. James all yeah. So anyway, and Katie and now everybody, we haven't really, and, and again, the team that we are right now has got to be very different than the team we are in April. And if it is, then we're not going to do what we need to do. we got to get better. If, if they do have Draymond and, and you know, they play that uh, lineup in the center, can Clint stay on the floor? Like that one? Should be able to. You know, that, that'll determine. I don't know, but yes, he should. And that should give us an edge, but he has to insert his will. And not how Draymond inserted, and that's where Draymond's great. He usually asserts his will. 
and you have to match up, and now they got the advantage. Uh, but we could have the vertical spin, all that, if if uh, if, if Flynn steps up, he's got to do it. All right. Thank you. All right, guys.